Hi there, this is Abhishek and welcome to my channel Data and Tools where I share the click view related tutorials. So in today's topic, we were going to discuss how you can connect the Google spreadsheets with your click view document. So before I move ahead, I will just mention that if you want to get all of this information directly in your inbox, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and get all of this information about the new tutorials directly in your inbox. So today's topic is uh, how we can connect the Google spreadsheet. So this is a Google spreadsheet which I have in my Google Drive and it has some sheets like orders, returns and sheet 2, iris, some data sets and master calendar scripts and other tabs. So idea is that uh, how we can get the first tab information into the click view. So when you connect Google spreadsheets to click view, you basically have two ways one thing is you go ahead and directly specify the link in, you in the web file uh, in input box or web file method where it gets the data or you have click view web connectors which is a custom installation from the click view so we will go with the first of all with the inbuilt method of click view so let's go to the click view tool and press ctrl e to go into the script all right so here is a table which i have already experimented with and as you can see that it is uh, getting the data directly from the drive but let's remove this and try to do it again so web files internet file and specify the link information so where is the link link is here you copy it paste it over here click next it will going to take some time but after a few seconds, here is the display that it gets. So what it is getting is at the rate one and at the rate two based on the link that we have specified. And if uh, at the rate one is already selected and it is showing you the first sheet information. So row ID, order ID and all of that. So if we go into the um, uh, this spreadsheet, that row ID, order ID, order date is basically all the columns. Well, that's all which is coming this one is particularly not useful similarly if you will go towards the end all of these columns probably not useful as well as this row is not useful so how you can get rid of that well for that you need to click next enable the transformation step select this column market delete select this column mark delete select this row mark delete all right well, that's the thing you need to do and click next. Now it is coming in a proper format and you can click finish. And it's pretty much the same script that I have generated earlier and same I have generated now. Another thing, if you want to remove all of this at once, you can delete directly from here and just make your script manageable like this. And now you have the table, the first table, which is there. But if you try and see that how you can get the other tabs well to get the other tabs what you need to do is you need to make that tab as a first tab so whatever is there in the google spreadsheet as a first tab only that information is coming if we are using the click view inbuilt method of web files to import the data but if our ask is or if our requirement is that we want to get the data from any of the sheet then I will show you in the next video how you can do it with the help of the web connectors. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video about how you can get the first table information directly from your Google Spreadsheets and do the reload and get it inside into your click with document. And once it is done, you can click close and all of your data will be available to clear out.